welcome. Okay, you need to buy and uh, as you are aware, the international hospital buyer is the new kid on the block, the level six hospital. <laughs> Just to try to answer why it is a level six hospital is because it is supposed to basically to function as an annex of the international hospital. Mm -hmm. and all the services which are offered. And the vision is all the services which are offered at the international hospital will ultimately be offered at the international hospital. And uh, we have made great strides into this, and uh, we have been able to function by quite a number of specialized clinics so that we can be able to offer specialist care. And we just give a brief snapshot of the international hospital. Right? It's a very hard to get bed capacity, and its construction goes back way back during President Kibaki's uh, tenure as a president. It took almost 10 years to complete it. Then it was, uh, once it was completed, it was handed over to, it was being built as an extension or ex as an expansion of the Gear Odaya Level 4 Hospital. But I think uh, the county government then uh, thought it wise that uh, they didn't have the capacity to run the Level 5 for the Mary Provincial. Uh, the Faro Hospital and also another hospital at the same time. So they handed it over to the Ministry of Health and uh, subsequently the Ministry of Health uh, uh, gave a directive that uh, the hospital be managed by Kenyatta National Hospital. And uh, Kenyatta National Hospital has been managing this institution since November 2019. Uh, by the time the Kenyatta National Hospital took over, the hospital had Hardly eight patients in the, in the wards, and uh, since then we have been able to expand the, uh, the services. We have been able to increase the spread occupancy uh, from partly around eight percent to around sixty-five percent, as we, we talk now. We've been able to start new services as we've been able to show uh, to show around, and uh, just to try and uh, make sure that we meet our vision. And our vision is to be a world-class patient centered specialist care hospital. And our mission is, is to optimize patient experience through innovative, evidence based specialized healthcare, facilitate training and research, and participate in national health, health policy and formulation. Uh, we are now fully functional. Uh, of course, we, we share the same compound with the, with the level four uh, via hospital. Uh, and uh, we have been allocated around 7.9 acres of the, the land. Patients coming from Isiro, patients coming from Masabi, patients coming from Meru, patients coming from Nyandaro, patients coming from Lakipia, patients coming from uh, Meru. Uh, rather, rather than them traveling all the way to Nairobi, they will be coming uh, to KMH Uganda and get the services which they would have gotten in KMH here. We have a team of specialized clinical and surgical services such as in, uh, oncology, aesthetics, and gynecology. The neurosurgery, the general surgery, the cardiology, the neurology, we have the kidney and renal dialysis, among others. We also have rehabilitative services, eh, which we have specialized in rehabilitative services, which we have started uh, occupational therapy, uh, physiotherapy, and also we have the uh, supporting uh, services, which, which support the services in the neurology department and also in the laboratory in terms of diagnostics. Over the time, the number of patients have increased. Uh, this has been attributed to the, to the number of outreaches which we have, we have carried out in the region. As you can see, in, in the year 2019, we had 2019-2020, we had an average of about 1,458 in, in patients. This has almost uh, 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 risen four times to 4,653. And uh, the statistics we can provide all of them. In the same case in the number of outpatient patients who have been coming, the number has almost doubled within that within that one year, and also the the number of uh, of uh, specialist services, specialized clinic uh, services, and the people who have been coming to seek for the special services. Again, the number has has dramatically increased almost uh, three times. Then telling you that there is a a demand for these specialized services in the region where we are serving. So, in, in brief, the impact of the KMH Ohio is that it has brought in access to specialized health care services 
kile kile mwananchi where they are in have a task the provision of quality quality emergency health care services in the point of need we have we have increased the screening early detection and timely referral referral of patients with non communicable diseases through outreaches and medical hubs and i think that is that's one what one area whereby we have really done quite a lot so that when you go out there and you are providing services uh, in a kind of free services you kind of screen and and and, and enhance the detection of, of the patients who require to be served in the, in the hospital so that they can access the services early enough before they get there the complications so we have been providing training internship and attachment and apprenticeship for students uh, we have we have quite a number of uh, universities who we have been called for uh, coordinating with and uh, providing the attachment service facilities for them and uh, uh, i think we, as it has been said in the, in the social pillar we have also had an impact to the local community you know uh, as of now the staff establishment of the international hospital now is close to 500 and all these people they decide to stay around the Ohio. So the kind of uh, impact this has, has had economically to the, to the community is, is quite a lot. Uh, people require accommodation, people require food, people require other services. So in the, in the nutshell, it has also contributed to the, to the economic growth of, of, of this region. When, when, we took, when we took over the facility, we identified some of the some of the areas where which we needed to work on very fast so that we can be able to bring the, the, the services to, to, to the standards which are required for an One, uh, the facility was lacking uh, some key or critical uh, critical services in terms of, uh, of uh, oxygen production, in terms of the laundry, in terms of the kitchen, in terms of, of water availability, and also in terms of, uh, of having a fair way home. Uh, I am happy to report that uh, we are here. Uh, most of these, these projects are complete. Now we have a whole uh, oxygen production unit, which we are relying on oxygen to be produced here. And uh, especially during the COVID, uh, this COVID-19 pandemic, we have had a quite a number. And increase the demand of oxygen. Uh, this one comes in very handy to supply the oxygen. And we we'll supply the oxygen for the hospital and we also have access so that if we can be able to to, to supply to the other uh, health and health uh, uh, hospital the other hospitals within the region. With the laundry again we have a modern a modern laundry services so that we can be able to clean the hospital, the hospital linen, and we will also be, we will be, be, be offering these services to, the, uh, to our neighbors, neighbors in uh, health, health facilities. We have a modern kitchen so that we can be able to cater for the nutritional demands for our patients. We have, we, we, have, we have been able to construct a borehole and a water storage tank because water is, is, is very important. It uh, has to be supply, continuous supply of water for the 24 hours without interruption so that the hospital can run, can run uh, uh, efficiently. And uh, lastly but not least, uh, this region that does not have any hospital it has a fair way of And uh, this will come up, will come in, uh, in terms of uh, serving the, the community uh, in, the, in the region. Special not only the, the fair health services but also special services like like, like the post motels and all, and all that now we are uh, able to offer that. Uh, as a as a hospital, we we understand that it's a journey and uh, it takes time to set up the hospital and uh, it's a journey, and we really want to thank the government uh, for the for the support we have been able to be given and uh, the support has been enormous and this is the what has really made us to be where we are we still have some challenges like in the regional department we don't have the, the, the high edge the specialist equipment which, which we need like the ct scan and the mri which would come in handy uh, in terms of uh, offering the diagnostic services 
at the point of service rather than referring them to, to other to outside to seek for services. Uh, we still have some challenges in terms of, of, uh, of, of having the adequate number of the specialist uh, uh, human resources for health. And uh, we thank the government because this, uh, this agenda we have been working together. Over the time, we have been able to get, uh, to get quite a number of uh, specialist uh, uh, consultants and, uh, who have been offering the services of the But we do believe that uh, if we follow the trajectory we are following, then uh, we, are, we, 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 we are establishing this as a level 6 hospital in this region.